soon as I got to work, he was like, like just being super like snippy with me. And I'm like, okay, don't know what I did. Like basically I asked for a side of dressing and he like gave me attitude and like I asked for it wrong. I wasn't supposed to ask the other guy I was supposed to ask him. So, so I go and bring my dressing to the table and he, this head chef is like blocking my entrance from getting back into the restaurant. So my table is outside. And like, he is trying to be super intimidating, like trying to block my way in to the restaurant. And he's like, if you ever fucking talk to me like that ever again, like we're gonna have a big effing problem, this and that. And I'm like, whoa. I'm like, did you forget that you gave me an attitude earlier? Like I respect people who respect me. For sure, T ended up getting fired and I still work there. So if you see this, I hate you and you're a bitch. Everyone thinks he's the main character in their life. She thinks her little ranch dressing got him fired. I'm sure he got fired for other reasons. A head chef is more valuable than a hairy waitress. Now she's on TikTok celebrating her non-existent victory. In my 20s, living in my own little apartment, right? And this guy was like, I'll take you to a movie. I'm like, cool. So we were going to go to this movie. And before he picked me up, I realized, oh, I haven't really eaten much. But damn, I'm going to park out on some popcorn for sure. So we get to the movie theater. And I don't want to be presumptuous. So I'm like, hmm. So I say, should I bring my purse in? Or should I leave it in the car? I really don't want to bring it. And he's like, no, 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 leave it. I'm, I've got it. I've got the movie. I'm like, sweet, thanks. I just didn't want to assume, right? And so we go into the movie theater and I look at this beautiful popcorn and he beelines right to the tickets and then right to the movie. And I was like, but, what? no, no popcorn. And I wasn't about to go, can you buy me popcorn? I, farts. I, why did I leave my freaking purse in the car? Anyway. Come on, man. Anyway, I was starving the whole time. We ended up going back to my house later. And, uh, yeah, and, um... He proceeded to, we were just hanging out on my bed because I had a little studio apartment, so that was pretty much all you could sit on. And um, he asked me to massage his back. So I had to give him a little back massage. And before he left, he left the toilet seat up <laughs> in my apartment. <laughs> oh, God. I was like, just no. And here I thought women are better communicators than men. She could have easily been like, let me go back to the car to get my purse. I want to buy some popcorn. I like how this story stands out for her. Talking about popcorn and a toilet seat being up. It was a different time back then compared to today's dating, for example. So I see that video went really viral. Um, the bill was like $4,600. That's why I didn't want to split it. This was a very expensive restaurant. Look, they're even giving hot towels. So I'm gonna show y'all the whole video. So you can see what actually happened. Shit, bro. I'm tired of this shit. It's her birthday. Like, it's my fucking birthday. Why the fuck should I have to pay for something on my birthday? Like, but, yeah, oh, no. But no, but what I'm saying is, why would I pay for something I didn't buy? I'm only paying for what's on the check. I'm not splitting the bill, Shawty. That's crazy. You expect us to split the bill? You got lamb chop. You got steak. You got some Look at all that. Look at what all that got. They talking about splitting the bill. What did you come out for? Yeah, what did you come out for? We come together. We split right, the bill. So again, Saturday, I went out with another guy who I had spoken to, and we had planned on having um, coffee and then going to going for a walk and then getting lunch somewhere. Um, that's a lot for me. Usually on a first date, I like to just have something super low-key and casual so I can get out if I'm not enjoying myself. So we got coffee, took a long walk, and we went to lunch. I thought it was going really well. I thought we were hitting it off. He was making a lot of eye contact with me, seemed really interested. We were talking about things like common goals and ideals and morals, and we all seemed to be on the same page. It was working out pretty well, even though I lost my contact at lunch and had to see him basically through one eye the whole time. The next day, he called me and asked me to go out this coming Friday. So between Sunday and now, we texted maybe like once a day. He was always the one who initiated it. Okay, even just to say something dumb like how's your coffee today or whatever like something stupid like that um, And then um, a few days ago because a lot of you who know me know that I'm into perfume So I was organizing my perfume and I was like, oh, hey, by the way, what do you like to smell on a woman? Right not even thinking anything about it because that's not serious to me and then um, Yesterday I cooked dinner and sent him a picture of it and I said maybe I'll cook it for you sometime after he told me it looked good He then calls me and says This is moving way too fast I don't know. If you start talking about perfumes and cooking dinner for me, 
I'd freak out too, but I'm commitment phobic. Just keep it lighthearted and fun. Not talking about long-term plans. This one chick was talking about having kids before we even had our first date. I blocked her. Just wanted to go out dancing and have a good time with each other. So we went to the gay bar. Because as we all know, gay bars are better than straight bars. Mm. And at that gay bar, we are dancing and having a good time. And these straight dudes just come up and start rubbing their dicks on our asses. And they're being all fucking nasty. And we're like, what the fuck? Are we going to have to leave? A group of gay vigilantes came up to us and formed a protective dance circle around us until those nasty straight bastards left. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. As a straight guy myself, I always go to gay bars to look for girls. But let's say this story is true. I'm sure you are strong and independent and can utter the words no thanks. Why do you need gay Batman to come rescue you? Because I just couldn't take seeing his face no more. I was done. Um, so December rolled around and he winds up hitting me on his birthday. And he's like, oh, thank you for everything you've done for me. I appreciate you so much. Bullshit. Um, anywho, so he acts like it's a dinner date. He gets me to come ar back around for the first time. I'm like, cool, we can hang. Then we hung. So the same week, we hung two times in one week, which we never do. And um, he starts to show me these properties, these cars he had. He never showed me this stuff before. It was because he was having financial difficulties and he knew I would help him. And you know what? I did help him. And I sent him on his fucking way because you remember when little babies say, I pay these bitches to leave? You're done. You're done.